வெல்கம் டு லயா ஸ்வாதா டேஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ரிதம் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ் சீரீஸ் ஆன் த லயா கான்செப்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கர்நாடிக் மியூசிக் டுடே வி ஹாவ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் லேர்னட் மியூசிஷியன்ஸ் ஸ்காலர்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் நேஷன் சங்கீத கலாரத்னா விதுஷி டாக்டர் டி எஸ் சத்யவதி மேடம் டேக்கிங் அஸ் த்ரூ அ ஜர்னி ஆன் த ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் வெரைட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் ஆதித்தாளா காம்போசிஷன்ஸ் தெர் ஆர் ஸோ மெனி வெரியேஷன்ஸ் and varieties which we see in a concert platform in different compositions that we are going to explore today and understand deeply on how the chandas of each of these compositions have a very huge impact in the laya or the rhythmical patterns that emerge out with her supporting on the vocal her disciple vidushi ashwini satish ji and on the mridangam layakala prathibhamani vidwan shri anur anant krishna sharma sir yontah pravishya mama vacha mimam prasuptam sanjeeva yatya khila shakti dhara swadhamna anyamscha hasta charana shravana tvagadin ಪ್ರಣಮೋ ಭಗವತೆಷಾಯ ಆರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಣಾಮಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಮತ್ವ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಜಿ ಸಮತ್ವ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ apt name to suit the topic of the day structural variety in aditala compositions samatva is the foundation of aditala it is such a balanced tala it is the premier tala primary tala with the myriad opportunities for laya patterns unending infinite structural varieties can be have been brought out in the compositions perhaps the number of compositions in this single tala outnumber surpass the number of all compositions in all other talas put together the reason being as i said it is a most balanced and squarish tala that does not mean that there is no scope for curves lots of sc- scope for curves within this frame of eight counts when i am talking about aditala i am immediately made to relate it with anushtub meter anushtub which is the first meter in classical sanskrit literature in which the entire ramayana has been composed 24000 shlokas they have lot of similarities to share with each other aditala and anushtub both have eight beats or counts it has five eight syllables anushtub has eight syllables whereas aditala has eight counts and uh, within that eight or 16 or 64 32 64 the combinations they are just unimaginably innumerable kujantam rama rameti madhuram madhuraksharam it can be very easily said to aditala and can be recited in a number of ways that itself is a, a proof or a testimony to say that they share lot of things common to each other ku jantam rama rameti the combinations permutations varieties are possible because of either elongating or shortening or retaining the gurvaksharas and lagvaksharas within the the eight counts 
and in aditala you have the gatis also to go with them the trishra chaturashra khanda mishra sankirna representing 3 4 5 7 and 9 so all these make the possibilities even more innumerable ku jantam ram rameti you can do that ku jantam ram rameti you can do that kujantam ram rameti you can go on doing it same madhuram madhuraksharam maruhya kavita shakham vande valmiki kokilam when you have different combinations in each pada of this entire shloka you come up with so many varieties you can't even imagine when you just read the shloka kujantam ram rameti madhuram madhuraksharam how many ways it can be presented in aditala and the stretchability is so much that the same anushtub meter uh, composition in anushtub meter can be set to not just aditala it can be fitted in to a rupaka it can be fitted into a mishra chapu likewise that means the encompassing nature comprehensive nature in aditala also as i said earlier the gatis all that is taken in by that frame without much ado we shall take up certain examples some illustrations which make it amply clear that uh, there are any number of permutations and combinations that are possible within this frame of eight counts as i said it is so sama equally placed evenly no oddity there 1 2 3 4 on one side and again it is 1 2 3 4 two dhritas following one chaturashra laghu this kind of a balance samatva is not to be found in any other tala this balance is not there in any other suladi tala you can make a study of that vana jaksha is the composition there we have chosen the charanas three charanas are there shri raghuvira dayakar sarasija lochana loka virajita sucharita that will lead to वन जा आक्षा दट सम कम्स देर दट जा इज इलांगेटेड जस्ट दट वन वर्ड वन जाक्षा बट इन द चरणस यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट इट इज ऑलमोस्ट यथाक्षर इफ इट इज ए गुरु इट टेक्स टू मात्रस इफ इट इज अ लघु इट टेक्स जस्ट वन श्री रघुवीर दया कर सरसी जलोचन लोक विराजित सुचरित वेन आई एम सेइंग इट एस अ लिरिक द स्ट्रेस इज डिफरेंट बट वेन अ मेस्ट्रो लाइक विद्वान अनुर अनंत कृष्ण शर्मा प्लेस इट नीड नॉट बी जस्ट द साहित्य इट इज आई मीन इट्स लाइक द बेड ऑफ लाइय which he spreads according to his aesthetic uh, uh, connotation of the same uh, sahitya upon which the sahitya in while it is sung emerges beautifully in that background so it is all left to the interpretation laya interpretation is something very unique and very subtle and the finesse has to come from a uh, really experienced and a sensitive player श्री रघुवीर दया कर सर सिज लोचन लोक विराजित सुचरित श्री रघुवीर दया कर सर सिज लोचन लोक विराजित सुचरित वन ज वीरद या कर सरसी जलो चनलो कवीरा जीत सुचरित सी द मृदंग कैन प्ले दट बट द साहित्य इज लोचन लोक वीरा जीत सुचरित सो दिस इज समथिंग वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स नॉट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड 
we should know the difference between being complicated and complex that complexity itself is the basis of beauty in the structural variety in any thala particularly adi thala so din takka din ta din takka takka din din takka din ta din takka takka din is the sahitya but while playing it may be din ta ta din ta ta din takka takka din so once again she is going to sing the same line shri raghuveer daya gara sara sijalo chanalo kavira jita sucharita vanaj aaksha ha next is sadaya nrupavara vibudha hita mridula suvachan dasharatha suta tilaka niratam that nine comes there takita takadina tatakadina takita tadimita takadimita takita takadina so this is the hasu what you call of the sahitya but the playing need not be exactly this division it need not be at all so sadaya nrupavara vibudha hita mridula suvachana dasharatha suta tilaka niratam vanaj aaksha sadaya nrupavara vibudha hita mridula suvachana dasharatha suta tilaka niratam sadaya nrupavara vibudha hita mridula suvachana dasharatha suta as a contrast the third charana starts with a dirga din takita din takita din din ta din taka din taka din taka ta din ta din ta din ta din taka din taka ta din gina to din taka din ta din taka din ta ee jagati lo palanu ni vanti daivamune nenduga nara daivamune nenduga nara we should never say it in gadya form ne nenduga nara kripa samudra shri vara even the short vowel is elongated that is permissible only in music in the samaveda also it is the same dirga and hraswa do not matter it's only in literature that we have to adhere to the chandas that strictly but in music we are free to elongate even the but most th- that is the uh, even the short vowel but with great care with great care that has to be done so here ee jagati lo palanu ni vanti daiva mune nendu ganar kripa samudra shri vara shubhakar kavi sada shivu ni bro vara ram sada shiva is elongated just to highlight the pen name of the composer otherwise it is sada shiva sada shiva that dirgha comes only to highlight the Uh, nama mudra of the composer vanaj aaksha ee jagati lo palanu ni vanti dai vamune nendu ganarai jagati lo palanu ni vanti dai vamune nendu ganara kripa samudra shri combination of dirgha hraswa that's all music lies in elongation and shortening so when you shorten when you elongate how much of elongation it need not necessarily be a uh, if it is a guru akshara not necessarily to 
it can be a pluta pluta is anything more than two just one line of uh, devaranama hare venkata shaila vallabha poreya beku enna look at the symmetry tadim din tadin din tadin tadim takita din tadin din takadina din that has to be filled up so that carves that musical pause matters a lot they say many a time we convey more when we don't sing many a time we convey more when we don't play that silence has enormous meaning to uh, bring to us so hare venkata shaila vallabha poreya beku enna that is the sahitya but the placement is not just as i say it it is singing singing is always different from saying hare venkata shaila vallabha poreya beku enna hare venkata shaila vallabha poreya beku enna hare venkata shaila vallabha poreya beku enna tadim din tadim hare venkata shaila vallabha poreya It is not hare venkata shaila vallabha poraya beku enna it is in aditala hare venkata shai that pause and that uh, structuring it or placing the words the syllables in within a frame makes lot of difference lalite shri प्रवृधे श्रीमती ललिते श्री प्रवृधे श्रीमती मोर इंटरेस्टिंग दैन दिस वेरी सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर इज हाउ इट इज मेड मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स बाय द सेवरल संगतीस वी कैन वेरी क्लियरली ऑब्जर्व हाउ द संगतीस आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्रिंगिंग आउट difference in the structure so it is not just a progression of the raga developing or making the raga bloom grow it's also the layakari grow within the frame of aditala that you can observe in the four sangatis we are going to present in this composition lalite shri pravade श्रीमती ललिते श्री प्रवृदे श्रीमती ललिते श्री प्रवृदे श्रीमती लवण्य निधि मती ललिते श्री प्र that uh, resting that very peaceful way of taking lalita the raga is also very very komala bhairavi and the sahitya is also so komala and the taking of is also so the mood itself changes because of the structure the structure is not just a calculated what you call um addition or deletion of certain uh, syllables or counts it is not just the mathematics it's not just the mathematics it has something more to offer that is by way of creating a mood so that is why laya is so important in which everything gets merged so all raga the beauty of the raga emerges from laya and merges into laya 
So it is uh, only by experience that one can find more and more beauty in this, explore more and more beauty in this. So not just the uh, Sahitya pattern, but the Swara patterns also matter a lot. That's what we saw in this composition. Krishna na kolali na kare Ali su Krishna na kolali na kare Ali su Krishna na kolali na kare Takita Tware 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 Krishna Alisu comes from behind. That is from the Atita. Alisu Krishna na kolali na kare. Then there is a long pause. Takita. Tware. 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 Make haste, make haste, make haste. Be quick. That mood is so beautifully brought out because of the laya. Because of leaving out that three and using only two syllabled word. Tware. That tware. So if somebody asks what is the role of sahitya in the structure, uh, we cannot underrate it. Likewise, what is the role of laya in Sahitya. <laughs> just, uh, they are inseparable. They are just inseparable. They are so well wedded to each other that they cannot live without one another. It is that famous Tyagaraja composition, Vandanamu Raghunandana Setu Bandhana Bhakta Chandana. Beautiful uh, Dviti Akshara Prasa. It is called alliteration on the second syllable of every pada, every quarter. Vandana mu ragu nandana setu bandhana bhakta chandana So, giving more stress on the lyrical structure is this way of singing. Sing the first way. Vandana mo ragu nandana Setu bandana Bhakta chandana Rama Vandana mo ragu nandana Setu bandana Bhakta chandana Rama Vandana mo ragu nandana So Vandana Na is elongated, not one, one which is a Gurvakshara, that is not elongated. Just to bring out that crisp, brisk and compactness of that word. Vandana mu ragu nandana setu bandhana bhakta chandana. But the same thing when you sing in a more leisurely pace, stretching it a little bringing out more of raga bhava filling it with raga it sounds so different we will listen to the second variety vandanamo ragunandana setu bandhana bhakta chandana rama vandanamo ragunandana It is not Vandanamu, it is Vandanamu, Vanda, that Vam is elongated, that itself changes the whole scenario. The whole color changes because of stretching that Dim, ta, dim, ta, dim, dim, ta. Elongation at the very 
first instance so this is one thing i wanted to show similarly we have different sahitya in the same raga mohana of the same composer saint tyagaraja one is bhavanutana hridaya muna ramim pumu badalika deera another is nannu palimpa nadachi vachitivu uh if you sing both or if you just you know observe these two compositions one after the other together you feel that one is the sequence to another nannu palimpa nadachi vachitivo if you have that first you have come all the way walking and walking and walking in to me the gate is also represented in the laya nannu palimpa nadachi vachitivo because rama's gate is very majestic so it is like an elephantine gate gajagamana so he comes like that next as a sequence to that perhaps tyagaraja composes the other composition bhavanuta na hridaya muna ramim pumu badalika teera because you have come walking all the way why don't you take rest in my heart you remain here take rest in my heart so Uh, that anxiety is seen in bhavanuta na hridaya munaramim pumu enough of your walking and enough of your uh, stress strain straining yourself come and rest reside in my heart so we will sing nannu palimpa first and then badalika deera bhavanuta na hridaya munaramim pumu you notice the difference nannu palim ಪಡಚಿ ವಚಿ self is so weighty it is so weighty so suspending hanging that is the kind of nannu pa the pauses so many pauses are there for the uh, either the artist that is uh, uh, the vocalist or an instrumentalist and the mridanga the laya vidwan to fill it up with so much scope to fill it up with such sensitive strokes if it is too much of crowding then the whole idea is lost of nannu palimpa the way today you witness the following that is the kind of soft and uh, kind of an understanding the strokes are so understanding the laya of that composition that is the most important thing to create the right impact the optimum effect on the listener next is bhavanuta the pace itself is more and it is squarish this was oscillating and undulating and waving like moving on waves the first one now you have something sprightly something more bright something more vigorous that shows the anxiety oh 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 you have come a long way walking now come take rest ಭವನೂತನ ಹೃದಯ ಮೋನ ರಮಿಂ ಪೂಮ ಭವನೂತನ ಹೃದಯ ಮೋನ ರಮಿಂ ಪೂಮ ಬಡಲಿಕ ದೇರ ಭವನೂತನ ಹೃದಯ ಮೋನ ರಮಿಂ ಬನೂತ 
ಹೃದಯ ಮೋಲ ರವಿಂಪು ದೇವರ ನಾಮ ಆಫ್ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಟ್ಯೂನ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ರೆವಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಗುರು ಪದ್ಮಭೂಷಣ ಅವಾರ್ಡಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಕೆ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠನ್ ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಥಾಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ಸಮಂ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಂಗತೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಂಗ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಹರಿ ಕಥಾಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ದಟ್ ಹರಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ of beat the vichu that is the uh, in the last druta hari katha and even that hari is not totally sung in the previous avarta half of that re comes out to the next avarta that is the beauty of it the structure changes because of that and all sangatis go to coincide with hari hari katha shravana madu ಹರಿ ಕಥಾ ಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ಹರಿ ಕಥಾ ಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ಪಾಡೋ ಹರಿ ಕಥಾ ಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ಪಾಡೋ ಪಥ ವೈಕುಳಕೇದು ಕಥಾಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ಕಥಾಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ಪಥ ವೈಕುಂಠಕ್ಕಿದು ನೋಡೋ ದಟ್ ಪಥ ಈಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಲೈ ಟು ದ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಇನ್ ಎ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುವಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಟು ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ವಿತ್ ಹರಿ ಕಥಾ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಹರಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಬೌ ಕೀಟ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕಿಟ ತ ತಕ ದಿಮಿ ತ ಕಿಟ ತ ತಕ ದಿಮಿ ತ ಕಿಟ ತ ತಕ ದಿ ತ ಕಿಟ ತ ತಕ ದಿಮಿ ತ ಕಿಟ ಶಂಕರ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಿರಿ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಕಿ ದಟ್ ಇಲಾಂಗೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಥ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ತ ಕಿಟ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ದೆನ್ ಪರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ ದಿ ಸ್ವಾರಸ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ತಕಿಟ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಲೈ ಅಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮೈನ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಟಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಟಲ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಶಂಕರ ಶ್ರೀಗಿರಿ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಕಿ ನೃತ್ತ ವಿರಾಜಿತ ಚಿತ್ತ ಸಭ ಚಿತ್ರ ಸಭಾ ಮೇ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾತಿ ತಿರ್ನಾಳ್ ಶಂಕರ ಶ್ರೀಗಿರಿ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಶಂಕರ ಶ್ರೀಗಿರಿ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ನೃತ ವಿರಾಜಿ ಚಿತ್ರ ಸಭಾ ಶಂಕರ ಶ್ರೀಗಿರಿ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ನೃತ ಪ್ರಭು ತ ಕೀಟ ಕನ್ನ ತಂಡ್ರಿ ನಾ ಪೈ ನಾ ಪೈ ಕರು ನಿಂಚು ಮನಿ ಮನಿ ಕನ್ನ ವಾರಿ ನಿನ್ನೆ ನಿನ್ನೆ ಆಶ್ರಯಿಂಚಿ ತಿನಿ ತಿನಿ ಕನ್ನ ತಂಡ್ರಿ ನಾ ಪೈ 
กะรูนิงจูมานีกันนาวารินินเนอาชรยิงจิตินี Not worried at all as to whether the sahitya, the syllables within that have a single instant, syllabic instant, or two syllabic instants. What is elongated? What is shortened? No one is bothered about it because it is such a balanced movement. The movement is so balanced. Ta ta din ta din din na ta ka din ta din din. கண்ணத்தண்டை கருணிஞ்சுமணி கண்ண தண்டை கருணிஞ்சுமணி கண்ண வாரி ஆசையிழி singing along with the mridanga they are, they are so inseparably matched there is absolutely i mean shivu sir he is singing through the mridanga and ashwini is also singing along with it just to match see it is such a perfect square in a square there is absolutely so this is the kind of experience that we get when we are totally soaked in aesthetic elixir de vi bro va it va is not three de vi bro va samaya mi de six karve tak dimi tak ati veg me vat chi de dim 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 ta dim 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 ta tak din ta dim tak dim ta dim dim ta beautiful laya this laya is unmatched unparalleled even if you say just the tatkara it is and if you place just the mridanga without singing without even the sahitya you get a feel of the sahitya that is the kind of compositions they are a life is worth studying this the such compositions devi brava samaya mede ati game va help sai ga ha <laughs> with that mridanga one sha ra de pa a hi ma sa ro ru ha ni bha pa de ye sha ra de pa a hi ma சரோருக நிபபதே சாரதே சாரதே பாஹிமாம் சரோருக நிபபதே சாரதே பாஹிமாம் சரோ 
पवते सारसाक्ष that row is elongated for how many matras nobody should keep count of it that is it so laya is what lies within it underlies it underlines all your singing so it is like the foundation samatva foundation you should not dig it up so the foundation is to rest the edifice has to be very very strong like this so no vimarsha i keep saying whenever you are listening to a beautiful music just listen and enjoy there shouldn't be any kind of a chikitsaka buddhi there no kind of uh, analysis that should go but later on later on after after you have listened just try to find out what is the reason for that kind of an experience that kind of a beauty then the research comes into being not until then not while we are listening it is just i mean it's like uh, amrita getting into you a panacea getting into you the system takka we are leaving out two tak ye 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 ta vu na ra nil kad ni ku ye 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 ta ga ga u na ra kare ye ta vu na ra tak nil kad ni ku improvisation can be done within that musical pause whatever the carves are there they can be filled up suitably most judiciously most appropriately aptly that can be done only by expert uh, laya vidwans take off point is after three matras takita devi jagaya jana ni just observe where that ni falls it doesn't fall on the ghata the beat starting uh, which is the starting point for the first dhruta it falls even before it acts as the uh, padagarbha in a, like in a pallavi but it falls behind tak tak it devi jagaya jana ni dehi kripa ya mama aaga devi devi jagaya jana ni dehi kripa ya trees the beautiful trees coming one after the other so usually the uh, what you call padagarbha 
పదగర్భంతు పల్లవి సో ఇన్ రాగ తాన పల్లవి వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ కాల్ దట్స్ ఎ వెరీ స్పెషల్ ఫీచర్ ఆఫ్ కర్ణాటక క్లాసికల్ మ్యూజిక్ పర్టికులర్లీ నోవేర్ ఎల్స్ ఇన్ ద వరల్డ్ యూ హ్యావ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ స్ట్రక్చర్ and the very uh, rule that has to be imperatively followed there in the construction of a pallavi in the composition of a pallavi is to maintain the padagarbha padagarbha is that long carve or pause musical fa- pause that starts on the beat of the second anga of the taala any taala whatever so in an adi taala it has to fall on the ghata of the first dhruta so now one 2 3 4 5 on 5 the fifth beat it has to fall fall but that is not a uh, i mean as i said it is an imperative rule as long as you understand pallavi in its basic structure but there are expert pallavis any number of such pallavis in which you have more than one padagarbha or in which the padagarbha falls not on the fifth beat in an adi taala or any taala for that matter the uh, beat of the second anga one such example has already been given to you now devi jagat janani can also be a pallavi if you consider this as a pallavi that ni which acts as the padagarbha falls not on the ghata but even before in the atita for the dhruta so there are several such uh, compositions the structure changes in a pallavi even if you maintain the padagarbha as the first ghata of the uh, i mean the ghata of the first dhruta if the take off point is different if it is if you leave out one and maintain the padagarbha it is different ta ta din ta din ta you can do that ta ka ta ka din ta 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 takita tadim ta if you leave out two takita ta dim takadim taka tadin ta, ta you can do that and the carves also they can change go on changing uh, if you change the carve then it is it the structure is different if you change the take off point the yadupu the structure is different so if the yadupu is somewhere here 1 2 3 4 5 if you start from here ta ka ta ki ta ta dim ta dim ta ka ta dim ta you can do that ta dim ta ki ta ta ka dim ta ka dim ta ka ta ka din five so the balance again that samatva particularly in a pallavi samatva is the most important thing that has to be taken care of so the balance between the first part purvardha and the uttarardha so in aditala you find many such pallavis wherein the uh, padagarbha is also shifted falls on different places and the edupus are different the carves are different so that is the beauty of our music that elongation you should not think that it is just a gap there is never a gap in musical compositions it's always a musical pause which offers ample scope it is so profound it is so deep a matter to understand so much of scope is there for improvisation and filling it in dexterously most intelligently but all with that aesthetic sense in mind so now you will see how it progresses with the sangatis which fill up that pause devi shri tulasam bro chote ki de devi shri Shri Tulasam 
Dhuni Kutakadi, the last charana, it has such calculated matras, scintillating patterns of calculated matras. So even if you just recite them without singing them, there is that layakari coming up beautifully. Tadim tadim dirana udanita daanita anita dim tadim dirana na adittum tatagata narita dara dara dana dim. Alari galari takata da da rata da ga mam ta ni takita ta tam ta dim 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 ta ni alari tam 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 takata ni alari tom 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 takata kata ni alari the five and seven and nine topping it up like a crown like a crowning glorious muktaya it comes up like that so we shall now listen to that you will see nobody is bothered as to where what begins, where what ends. The calculation is done by the composer in a trance, perhaps, in a samadhi sthiti. So we are here only to enjoy. Just enjoy. Tadim tadim dirana udhani tadani tadani tadim tadim dirana Tadim tadim dirana udhani tadani tadani tadim It is self-explanatory. So the concluding composition is a real beauty. It is set to tune by none other than Padma Bhushana Awardee, Dr. V. Dhuraswami Ayenga. It is in Raga Suruti. Ambuja Dalakshage Mangala. It appears so simple. As I said, Aditala offers such a scope that from the simplest to the most complex varieties, structural uh, varieties you find here. So, Ambuja Dalaksha Ge Mangala. That pause, it is exquisite. It is something out of the world. You don't have to play or sing anything after that until the avarta comes to a close. Ambuja Dalaksha Ge Mangala. Sarva Jeeva Raksha Ge Mangala. There you we can do that. But Tatta dim Ambuja dalakshage Tatta dim Sarva jiva rakshage Mangala That same word Mangala is structured differently in two avartas. In the first avarta it is Tatta dim In the second it is Tanta dim Dinta dim So with this we conclude this presentation Over to you Ambuja the Lakshage Mangala Sarvajiva Rakshage Mangala Ambuja the Lakshage Mangala Sarvajiva Rakshage Mangala Ambuja the Lakshage Mangala Stop anywhere, Sarvajiva Rakshage Mangala also, but just to highlight that Tatta Dim, we close there. So, uh, I hope and wish, perhaps, not claiming any justice, because these are topics that nobody can claim to have done any justice to. Just a very humble attempt in exploring the dimensions of the 
structural variety and beauty in Aditara compositions. Thanks for the opportunity. My many, many sincere thanks to Samatva Foundation and Vidwan Guru Prasanna for this opportunity. Thank you. Most of our uh, compositions has variety of phrases and patterns, uh, melodic wise and rhythmic wise. So the life saver for a accompanist is the second time which is sung by the artist. So if you are really, you know, have presence of mind and concentration, certainly you can follow in the second time. Uh, but here, one thing is sure, only if you have heard a lot of composition and have that gnana of listening, even I say, if we, even if you go for a kachari, most of us nowadays, I'm talking about our youngsters, most of the time they will be spending the time on mobile, but it's not good. If you go for a kachari, you have to listen, listen and listen. Every time you listen, you will learn something new and which really helps you in accompanying. I'm not talking about only murdanga, but even violin. Because each and every artist who sings or play, they have their own bani of kirtana and the notation will be changed. So, we need to... Our mind should be on the artist, on the composition always. Not only for Adi Tala or for any Tala, it's very important. I think I am... Today I am much uh, blessed to accompany Dr. T.S. Satyavati. Um, I don't think anyone can explain this better than her. I should thank Guru for giving me opportunity and I should thank Madam for accepting me today. Adi Tala, as the name suggests, is the first Tala as a student of music we all learn. With Adi Tala, there are several compositions that has been composed. And today, we, we saw, we learned so many finer aspects of the different structural differences that, that come in due to the, the composer's thought process and the way the, the laya patterns and the rhythmical patterns emerge out due to these structural varieties. We profusely thank Sangeeta Kalaratna Vidushi, Dr. T.S. Satyavati Madam for taking us through a very thought-provoking, enlightening experience of structural varieties in Aditala compositions. And we also thank Layakala Prathibhamani Vidwan Anur Anantakshna Sharma sir for embellishing and bringing out wide varieties of laya patterns for these compositions. And we also thank Vid Vidushi Ashwini Satishji for wonderful vocal support. Thank you.